Hello everyone. I told you guys I'd try and put together some information on metrology, so today we're going to talk about a squareness standard I've put together. Uh, here we have all of the component pieces of something I kind of just cobbled together in the last few days. And then I'm going to discuss a couple other ways of checking squareness. Sorry about this, I'm hand holding the camera. In the back there you can see a mirror and an optical square. Optical square, mirror and a cylinder square, several of the other ways you can use to check squareness. So anyway, I'm going to assemble this squareness checker and then explain to you guys how it works. Verifying my parallel, sliding in under a tenths dial test indicator. As you can see, the needle is not moving, indicating parallelism of the two faces. You want to ensure that this repeats so you come off, back in, and I'm seeing maybe a half tenth there. That's not bad, that's 50 millionths of an inch. So we're going to assume 50 millionths out of parallel on the straight edge. So here we go. There's an upright and I machined from a old cast iron barbell. I machined a base which I have yet to completely scrape in but I did throw it on the lapping plate and we've got it pretty close for now just for kind of proof of concept. Once it's all together in the future we will be lapping that in and doing a final scrape and then also adding a index pin so that we're going to ensure that this thing does not move on us in the future. So I hope this video doesn't get too boring for everybody. A couple of things we can say in terms of squareness checking is everything is based on standards and our primary standard here is the surface plate that I'm working on right now. You need to know that that's flat before you can assume all your other measurements are accurate. So what I did was there are a multitude of ways to check squareness but one of them is using this device here. This is pretty much a height gauge but I picked it up on eBay recently. The gentleman who owned it previously machined this little land on the base here and I'll show you how that's going to work in a few moments once we've got this put together. But as I say it's just a height stand. I've got a tense indicator up on top here and we'll get back to that in just a moment. So anyway starting we've got a high precision parallel here and you notice in the other portion of the video there where I checked the squareness of this video and that's key to how this all works. These two surfaces are accurate and parallel to each other to within about a ten thousandth of an inch. So, got a pin here, fits in the base and as usual I just jumped in my junk drawer, dug up all these pieces and cobbled. I love cobbling. Got a pin here and I press fit a bushing into the top end and then it's threaded, it's th drill through drilled and threaded. And to ensure that this thing was stable, I machined a little conical, conical washer that rides on the edges of this through hole to ensure that this thing does not move once we've got it all fully assembled and snug down. So the pin that I just installed on the other end fits in the hole here, cross drilled it and it's set up for a couple of set screws. See how that all works right shortly. Set screws drive in from either side. And then they ride on the pin that projects through the straight edge. Kind of trying to do this all in one take. We'll see how that goes. Not, I'm kind of new to this video stuff, but I thought it'd be a little more interesting than just a series of pictures. So as you can see, two set screws, they each drive in opposing each other and ride against the pin that projects down through. So what that allows is I can adjust the squareness of this parallel to my surface plate.
and I'll do that using the squareness checker. To calibrate the height, the squareness standard, we utilize our squareness checker and then we adjust it using the set screws that press on the pin in the base. You do so by putting your squareness standard up against the parallel, then you rock it to find the high point reading. When those two readings match on both sides of your parallel, you're square. So I will now illustrate that. And I calibrated this off camera so we wouldn't have to go through all the ramp, the squareness checking. As you can see we're measuring approximately four, four tenths. Rotate around to the other side. This is called the reversal principle where you can reverse your straight edge and verify your reading because we know that the straight edge is parallel. I'm reading about three tenths on this side. Everything affects the process here, the gauging pressure, etc. And two and a half to three tenths. So, for illustration purposes, we're going to call that accurate to within a couple ten thousandths of square. The squareness standard itself is not really a practical square. It's certainly a square. It's usable. You can use it right here on your surface plate to verify other items, check for a light gap, get a bright light source behind it. But the real practical use of it is to adjust your squareness checker. So because of the reversal principle, you can always ensure that your squareness checker is square to whatever reading you zero to on your tense indicator. So in this case, it's pretty tough to zero this exactly to zero, but you just want the same reading on both sides of your parallel straight edge. That ensures the reversal principle. So we've got approximately two tenths shy of zero on my tense indicator here. Reverse that. Verify that reading. Approximately two tenths, one to two tenths. So we know that minus two tenths to the left of zero on this squareness checker right now is perpendicular. It's a 90 degree angle relative to the surface plate itself. I had built, a couple years ago, I had built a cylinder square. I had, the, had it in my mind that, hey, I can make a squareness tester. Well, truth is in the testing. You'll note the black index mark. It is square at that point, but when we machined this, it was not lapped, it's not hardened. It was just done between centers, and for whatever reason, it does not, it's not square all the way around. It's, the base is canted. Depending on where you check this, it's as much as, as I recall, almost a thousandth out. See, there were about three, four tenths out of square. There it's almost one and a half thousand. Nice thing is this system does definitely repeat. Go back to your index mark. Two tenths. So that point is square. You could utilize that as a square as well. So this system is self-checking by the reversal principle. One of those things that's really nice in metrology. The, the ability to self-test your work and repeat it.